Welcome to today's video everybody. We are in an undisclosed location somewhere in Japan in the mountains and we're hanging out with Daiki because we're gonna be going exploring and we're gonna be hunting for this abandoned car. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. Look at this farmland. All rice paddy fields, mountains everywhere. And just like that, we're bush bashing guys. Just like that. Daiki, I don't think you're ready for this. Uh, yes, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, a while ago, an anonymous person tipped us off about this place, a Japanese person. So we're pretty excited to check it out. Apparently, I'm not entirely sure of the history, but like we've heard a ton of rumors that this used to be like an old little road. And it's like a tunnel that was closed off. And then on the other side of the tunnel is this abandoned car. And if this is what it looks like right now that we're following, yo! There's the tunnel. <laughs> this is creepy, bro. <laughs> no. Um, Thank you. Hi. Bro, oh <laughs> look at the tunnel. Oh, it's not that long. It's not that long. But oh my I, gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually really cool. This is like bamboo here. Random. This is nuts. It looks like man-made. I don't know, there has to be, right? So apparently back in the old days, this was like a farm road or something, and this used to be a tunnel that they'd use. But as you can see, damn, this has had a fair few landslides. Oh my see, God. it's like broken and fallen down a bit. Wow. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you learn that? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Echo. Oh, that sounds weird. Hang on, thank you. Before we go, I came prepared. Oh, what is this? We got a flashlight. Oh. It's <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yeah, it has an echo voice. Echo! It's gonna get dark. It's not too bad. This is definitely like man made, but. I don't know. It's weird. It's dirt. Concrete. It's not concrete. Hmm. Nothing like, you know, big stone. Hmm. What's this up here? I don't know. Definitely nothing's driven. What is that? What is this? There's a room here, Daiki. What? There's a free car battery there. Actually, why is there a room here? Yes, so there's, there's some sounds inside here. I don't really want to go inside. Oh my god. Yeah. I heard sound inside. Yeah, there's definitely something. Something's alive in there moving around. That's really creepy. Maybe we'll look in there later. Oh. <laughs> you want to go in? If I go in, maybe I should get. What? 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 <laughs> it's a heater. Oh, man. There's heater and some old barrels. Like water pails. And then there's like bedding. Maybe someone used to live in here, like a homeless person or something. It's a little weird. It's definitely creepy. It smells really bad. Anyways, we're at the end of the tunnel. That is weird though. I wonder what the story is here. There's a hole there. It's crazy. Oh wait, there is some graffiti. It's hard to see. Maybe you can see it better now. There's something here. What's this? Ni, ni, uh, ju ni gatsu? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Juni Gatsu Niju Ichi. So someone was here in December 2021. I was just about to say, it's kind of weird because like if this was Australia or America, there'd be graffiti everywhere. Like people signing their names and stuff. It's kind of weird. Whoa, there's another room. This is so weird. There's like a whole nother room in here. It's just like carved out of the cliff. There's a hole up the top there too. It's weird. Huh. Weird. All right, well, we're on the other side. There's supposed to be a car here somewhere. I don't see one. Do you see a car? 
<laughs> Did they take it away? We were told go through the end of the death tunnel and there should be an abandoned car here. I don't see anything. Apparently someone drove a car through here or something and got stuck. Huh? Oh! I think I see it there. Hang on, let's go around here. There it is! So apparently someone got this car stuck here. Wow! Oh, it's been here for a long time. Oh! That scared me. Whoa! Oh my god! This has been here forever! What is it, Daiki? Oh, what? What car is this? Look, there's an axle here. That's like farming equipment though. Wow. Well, there you go. It's here. Hey Daiki, I found your new engine for uh, D1 lights today. Yeah, nice diff. Oh, nice diff. Yeah, spare diff. <laughs> It's inside one more car? Maybe. What? Maybe there's another car under the ground. What? Ah, maybe. It's a new dip. My new oh. dip? Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> For uh, cave -in. Cave -in's <laughs> new dip. Antenna. Ah, nice. We don't want to disturb this too much, but I really want to look at the engine. Like, ooh. <laughs> trying to look at this. It's... This looks like an old crown or something. It's hard to tell. It's obviously Japanese. I'm just trying to like look at the engine in there. It's still pretty well intact. Gonna definitely need to get my tetanus shot done again. <laughs> oh, it won't turn. I was gonna look in the air filter. You can kind of just. Oh, the air filter's just right there exposed. The whole tent thing's rusted away. What engine is this? I'm like scared to move anything. Oh, I can see like a. Oh no, it's missing. It's just like... Oh yeah, buying it. There. Oh here it is, Toyota! RX11 16R. Daiki, this is a 16R engine. What? You okay? Don't yeah. lose your step. Yeah. Look! So, what's an RX11? Let me quickly Google that. RX11. Toyota RX11. Dude, this is so crazy! Look at all the moss growing inside. Oh my gosh, and the trees growing through it there. This is wild. Oh, you found it? Mark II? It's a Mark II. That's what it used to look like? That's so cool. That's so unfortunate though. Yeah. That looks yeah. amazing. Well, there you go. Corona Mark II. A Corona Mark II. I think that's yeah. honestly so sad. Wow. What a find. So, the crazy thing is, is this person also let us know about multiple others across Japan. And this year my goal is to try and find all of them. And this is the first one. Oh wow, look at the old hubcaps here. Oh yeah, it's got like that old Toyota kind of symbol thing on the center of the cap. Do you think the door handle still works? There's definitely a snake or something living in this. I saw the emblem. Yeah? The steering wheel. Still got the emblem, does it turn? <laughs> does the horn work, imagine? Very cool. Oh, look at the stereo. So retro and cool. I don't know if you can see it without it focusing. Let's see if we can get that focus on the stereo. There it is. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm mind blown by this thing just out here in the middle of nowhere. We're literally in the middle of the woods. Like completely in the middle of the woods, guys. <laughs> There's not a road anywhere close to us. We are in the middle of nowhere. We should probably think about getting back soon though. I think it's gonna get dark real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot get over this. Wow. Ah, uh, this is MT. It's manual? Yeah. But it has a manual transmission in it? I wonder if it'll be a W58. Okay. Put it. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. Does it shift uh, or is it locked? Uh, yeah, it's locked. It's locked? I've never shifted a transmission from here before. Oh, that's not budging at all. It's definitely 
stuck. Maybe that's why they got dumped here. Maybe it got dumped. Maybe it didn't just like get stuck here. The cranking is stuck. Oh yeah, yeah, the engine will be locked up for sure. What? What are we looking at? Emblem. The oh, emblem on the dash? Mark II. Oh yeah. That actually looks sick. Let me get a shot of that from the side here. You can see all oh, the rear looks freaky as man. Look in there. Look at the old seatbelt. So crazy. Here you go. I think that's like some old farming equipment or something. What's this daiki? I know exactly what that is. That's from the fuel cap. I'm not joking. Come here. This, I think, used to go here somewhere. Johnny? Uh, yeah. Don't you think that used to go here? That's 100% the old, oh, there it goes. That's exactly what happened when someone touched it. Look at the bamboo growing through it. Oh my. See? Bamboo grows through anything. Look at all the bamboo there. Is it black? Yeah, because it can't get sunlight. It couldn't get through the metal, maybe. Oh. You want to jump in the back seat? Oh, I'm not going to stick my fingers under that. It feels like spiders. That is rusted really bad. Oh, yeah, what? What? Look how rusted out that is. Yeah, I can't get over that. That black bamboos. Yeah. And then this here. It's crazy. The rear end is just completely gone, rusted away. Look at this rear. That's still pretty strong though. It's not bending. Tail light still. Look at the tail lamp. I'm just like expecting a snake to jump out at me. Look at the steel still around it. You think your car has rust? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a find, man. So cool. How, how, could... how did it get here, right? Yeah. I think it came through the tunnel. Either it got like dumped here or someone literally just got it stuck here. Because I think this was going to be a road. Because it looks like the government just abandoned this because they've got the, the stuff cut out and stuff for it. And I think they never pursued it. But yeah, I think someone tried taking it down here and got stuck because this seems like more of like a cutout road that goes wraps around there too. There's a lot of abandoned roads in Japan and a lot of abandoned old tunnels that have either half collapsed or they're tunnels that are fine but on roads that have collapsed from earthquakes and stuff in Japan. So there's more of this kind of stuff that we're going to be exploring throughout the year. We've just been looking over this thing and it's crazy how some things have deteriorated so differently than others. Obviously a lot of the steel and the metal has like completely rusted and fallen apart and just disintegrated. But then things like the radiator fan looks brand new, like wild. And then like the radiator is still in pretty decent shape by the looks of things. And it had air conditioning too. <laughs> it's crazy, the radiator hose, like what's this? I guess that's the aircon compressor. Oh look, the belt's still on it. The belt is still on it. It's like, I'm kind of worried. Oh, there's an oil cap daiki. Oh. Do you think it's got oil in it? Wait, 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 where's the dipstick? Where's the oil checking stick? What do you think? Let's, let's, oh. I'm trying to make sure I don't get bitten by something. Oh, look, the spark plug leads. Everything is still on this. What's that? I think that might be the distributor here. Oh no, that's like, Oh, that's like a booster or something? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, that's separate. That's a fuel filter. Oh, fuel filter. Looking for the oil check stick, the dipstick. Yeah, maybe it doesn't have one anymore. Maybe someone took it. Hmm? Yeah, I think that's the alternator. Oh, wow, look, the belt's like completely broken off it. Look, the pulley's just disintegrated. Oh. Look at that. It's just falling apart. Wow. Alternator destroyed itself. Yeah, the level. It's probably around here somewhere. Yeah. I don't know though, like I've never worked on these engines before. I'm a little scared digging my hands around <laughs> this too. There's a distributor. The distributor's over here. Interesting. I think the level gauge has probably been taken. I think someone took it out. But if we find like a picture of this engine somewhere, we're like looking around for it and I don't see it coming out of the block anywhere. Let's see if the cap on screws, Daiki. That is not budging. That is on there so tight. No chance. Oh, if anyone could come and undo that, <laughs> there should be a prize. Like, uh, what do you call it? The, whoever can get the sword out of the rock kind of thing. If anyone can undo that, there should be a prize for them.
unlocking superpowers or something, you know? That's not budging. That's that's stuck on there forever. That's so corroded on there. Ow, I really hurt my hand trying to get that off. Oh man, I don't see a dipstick anywhere. Oh, no, that's the throttle cable. Uh -huh, the stick. What is this? Is that an air freshener? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, that's an old air freshener. From when? This looks really old. Mm Oop, it just leaked all over me. <laughs> We're just, uh, you know. I just want to know if it has oil in it, that's it. It's kind of sad to see something that's somewhat in like, you know, all together pieces just out here rotting. As a car person, I look at this and I think like, you know, transmission, engine, like at least take that out before you dump a car, but yeah, back in the old days, these probably weren't worth that much. If this was restored, this would be worth a pretty penny. Wipers, everything's still kind of like, anything stainless on this just like held up really, really well, obvious reasons. Sad. Anyways, I guess that's it. The bumper down here too, I was looking at this just before when we were filming, all these like, Trying not to cut myself with rusty pieces of metal. Look at all these old vents and stuff. So crazy. So sad. Anyways, that's that. Headlight still intact, just sitting there. It's, it's really hard to fight the urge to want to take a souvenir of something like this, but this isn't my car. It's not my property, so not gonna do that, but. It's a memory, that's for sure. I don't know how much longer this is gonna last here, that's definite. This thing will not be around much longer, the rate that it's decomposing. This is very cool, the old symbol here. Look at the old speaker. Is that speaker grill or is that for, is that for, oh, that's for the vent, for the windshield. It's fallen apart with the moss growing in it. It's just crazy. Look at all the dash stuff, man. Look how retro that is, look at the clusters. Oh man, that's so cool. Old stuff, man, they just don't make it like they used to. And I guarantee you this roof has collapsed because someone jumped on it or something. For sure. Definitely for sure. Well, I think with that we're done. <sighs> man, that's sad. I've seen one of these a long time ago in Australia, so I know what these look like, like fully still functioning and on the street, it's sad. Japan's full of stuff like this. And like I said, we're gonna be doing a lot more traveling this year and finding gems like this. You excited, Daiki? Yes. Guys, let us know in the comment section, how do you think this car got here? How did it get stuck here? Anything that you can come up with as to why it's here? It's literally in the middle of nowhere. I suspect maybe they thought they could come down this road, got stuck, and then it ended up getting, you know, just being left and abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. It doesn't seem like anything sketchy. The VIN plates and stuff are still on there. I think it's just been abandoned and the bamboo growing through it is just wild. I still can't get over that, so cool. I kinda wanna keep exploring around here. There could be more. Um, maybe we'll come back here and do a little bit more exploring, but it's starting to get dark and I think our hike back to the car is a good like hour and a half. So we're gonna be a while. Do you got enough battery on your phone? You got reception out here? Yeah. Yeah, we got reception, uh, 5G? I, uh, no, sorry, I have 4G and 4G? Three signals. Three bars? <laughs> Let's go. All right, we're still good then. Let's go back through this tunnel. This stuff creeps me out. What is with this? It's just perfectly cut out, so it's so weird. It's like they intended to do something and then gave up. Let's have a look in here. I actually want to go deep inside this. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like Indiana Jones, that hole is a little creepy. There's just trash in here. I'd say people just come here and dump stuff. Probably young people come here and hang out. I don't know. Yo, that is some wheat. This is old stuff. Look, Asahi Biken. Look at these jars and cans, Daiki. Oh. it. This is like really old. Dude, I would cry if I found a Japanese old fruit, like fruit candy can from like Firefly. Uh, what's that Studio Ghibli film? <laughs> oh my God, what is up there, Daiki? Daiki, what? Daiki, what is those? What are those? What the freak are those? Oh my god. Oh my, don't touch them, Daiki. What? The Look, Daiki, Daiki. Uwe, uwe. Ana, What are those? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, it's coming. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh my god, what the freak is that? What the freak is that? 
It started coming. Oh my god, it's a centipede. Oh my gosh. What? Look at that. I don't want to get too close to it. I don't know if that's poisonous. You see that? What? What is that? <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Look how many legs it has. Oh my god. What? I was under that. <laughs> yeah. What the freak? Whoa, whoa. Okay, all right. <laughs> that I never thought I'd be scared. That I don't. We don't have those in Australia, so I don't know what that's gonna do to me if it bites me. Oh. That that gave me a fright. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what is that? I don't know. You don't, don't know what that arms. is? Well, it has too many arms. <laughs> this is creepy too. Yeah. Okay, this is your new house. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Me screaming like a girl running for my life. That thing scared me, especially when it started coming for us. Anyways, thanks for watching. Smash that like button, write a comment, and subscribe. Do you want to see more of this kind of stuff? Me and Daiki adventuring oh, yeah. out into the woods of Japan. You alright? Yeah. Watch your step. We're gonna get home. <laughs> we got a long, a long hike and a long drive. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Oh, subscribe. <laughs>